You've already heard the genesis of artillery. Now, here's the rest of the story. In the beginning, gun bunnies thought they were all powerful and had big guns to compensate for their um, shortcomings, but they were unable to provide fire support alone. Don't call me no gun bunny. Forward observers whom support our infantry brethren send the King of Battle fire missions, if and when they decide to emerge from their sleeping bags. After these three entities decided they could not perform the mission alone, support personnel to the King of Battle were created. They needed meteorological personnel to improve the accuracy of their deadly fire by computing technical solutions to meet the five requirements of accurate predicted fire. They needed survey to find common direction across the battlefield. They needed radar to determine accuracy and track hostile fire. Sir, we can't do a mat. It's the marine layer. Communicators were created, for without whom, none of their fire missions would be transmitted. A-Lock, this is Hall Flight, radio check over. This is A-Lock. Last time you checked this, you came in broken and now I'm over. A-Lock, say again, your last over. Last time you checked this, you came in broken and now I'm over. Say again, your last over, A-Lock. Last time you checked this, you came in broken and now I'm over. So many stars, nobbling place. Over. <laughs> that same transmission came in broken and real over. Bonjour, Bali Blue Francais. Over. That same transmission still came in broken and real over. Hey, Sir Goodson, real check over. Next. Artillerymen needed ammunition to fire, so the ammunition technician was born. 17, 18. How many high angle alum do we have? Okay. 18. 37. 38. 39. 53. Supplies were also needed to be delivered to any climb or place. Ah, uh, S3, Mad Sergeant Lord. You don't need any Hey, Mad Sergeant Smith, I'm inspecting the box. Have you seen it lately? Mad Sergeant, uh, supply didn't receive anything back here. And artillerymen across the globe actually expected payment for their glorious service. Artillerymen also needed cooks to feed them, or the rest of the artillery would quickly tire of their bitching. Let's start. The intelligence section, which was needed to determine the enemy situation and influence future action, or, well, I guess they did something, but no one is quite sure what. There is no I in intel. Motor transport was needed to move the guns, because no matter how strong the gun bunnies thought they were, the king don't hump. Fuck this truck up, man. Look at this shit's filthy. You know what? What? If you can't truck it, fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. And once all of the support entities were created, someone was needed to control the chaos. This control was provided by the cock. It was populated with way too many officers who associated themselves with their dear friend, the Good Idea Fairy. But despite this fact, sporadically, actual work was accomplished. Finally, the highest ranking member of the battalion was created, the battalion commander. 
whose reign existed above all gods, whose outside-the-box thinking has served his artillerymen well, with exploits that include breaking marines during the great gladiator battle of Kratos' fury, planting a kilo of coke in a marine's car for thievery in Seal Beach, and identifying individual marines who are definitely not tracking. The Lord is definitely not tracking. Attention in the COC, Liberty Call!